thing. We kind of already got into some of the um, the details, so we don't need to talk about quite as much. I'm just going to do a quick welcome, and then we'll we'll get into it, and uh, we'll do some tapping. Okay, sounds good? great. Yeah. Right. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for requesting this private session that Lindsay and I are getting ready to do. I hope that you have listened to the podcast episode if you're joining us, because we really did chat a lot about what we're getting ready to work on and this pain in the hip abdominal so region so that yeah. Lindsay's uh, been having for right, several, right many, too many, too long, <laughs> too long. And she's really, really been diligent about trying to release it. And it just seems to be sticking around. So let's see what we can do to, to dig in on that. And when you listen to the episode, you'll understand more about how this isn't a one and done kind of thing and the layers that there are to doing EFT work. But we're going to start with just a round of EFT today and see what comes up, what shifts, what changes, and also to recognize that sometimes, you know, we do a round like this and you kind of just feel like a little bit of a buzz right now. And then later on in the day, it'll be like, whoa, I get this aha moment or this, like this difference in the way that you feel or whatever, just take note. And if you are tapping along with us, Obviously, you might not have psoas pain. You might not have a story that is at all like Lindsay's. But if you have any other kind of pain, change the words a little bit, make it your own, give your pain its voice and repurpose this a little bit. Get a little crafty because it's still really, really good therapy that you can apply if you're just a little bit creative. And I'm happy to have people reach out to me. Teresa at TeresaLearLevine.com is my email. Shoot me a message if you have a question, if you need help. And I love, love, love hearing from people after these and hearing what changed, what shifted, what you learned and, uh, you know, getting to know each other better. I um, recommend drinking some water. If you, I don't know how well hydrated you are at this point. Do we both I'm have hydrated. mason jars? We do. Oh. And we both have like fun straws. <laughs> we do. Where do you live? I am on the North shore of Lake Superior in Minnesota. Okay. Hence the snow. I was trying to figure out the winters and the snowshoeing and all that. I'm like, you must be somewhere cold. I'm in Maryland. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. I'm in, I'm in a place that has a minimum of like eight months of winter. <laughs> so, well, okay. Se- seven, seven months of winter. And then like one month of fall and spring. <laughs> Have you always lived there? No, I'm originally from Texas. So that's so a lot it was, different. It was a big, big change. I'll bet. But I love it. I wouldn't, I don't want to move back to Texas at all. I, I feel like this is where my soul belongs. Good. That is great. So um, if you're tapping along again, hydrate with us, energy and water, they like to, you know, move and do their thing together. So if you are not hydrated and you're tapping, sometimes things stay stuck longer. Sometimes they don't release as easily, that kind of thing. And then no matter what happens, no matter what the outcome is today, you will have moved a lot of energy. So keep hydrating throughout the day, um, just like you would if you went for a massage or exercised or whatever else. This is just a different kind of thing happening in your body and it needs some replenishment. So trying to figure out I what angle we want to go in on here. Um, it might help because we are going to okay. be tapping around okay. the eye. So that can be very helpful. Um, do you want to work on physical pain? Do you want to work? What aspect would be the best for, for you? Do you think, or the most helpful today? Yeah. I mean, I don't want to feel pain anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Let's just snap our fingers and make it go away. Yeah. okay. I I wish it was that easy. Yeah. And I I could like, I I could like triple my rates too. If I could just do that for people be like, done. Yeah. No, I, I, I could take what we do today and I could repeat it. Right. I can like do it again and again and again. You could, um, it's not necessarily going to build upon itself though, without changing what we're doing. Okay. Gotcha. Which is, you know, the whole, like if we were actually doing a session, which would be longer than this, like these, these sessions that I do are, you know, 15 or 20 minutes, we do one round of EFT, like in an actual session that I do with clients, it's probably three or four rounds during that session and they each build upon the next. So as we finish one round, it's kind of like, you know, if you started at a nine and now you're at a four, it's kind of like, all right, let's reassess. What's that four made up of what's left, what's still happening. And then moving on from there. And then, you know, next session, 
picking up kind of with whatever's new and whatever's still coming up and moving on from there yeah. and just taking care of different aspects. Mm-hmm. So yes, you can, I recommend doing it again. I know there's definitely value to be had from doing it again. Kind of like we talked about on the podcast, if we lower the stress, even if we're not changing a new aspect or breaking through a new blockage, we're still lowering stress, which is allowing things to transform and change easier. Sure. Less okay. resistance, easier right. change. I'm so I'm open to whatever I trust you in whatever direction we go. And I'm open. Well, thank you. What does the pain feel like for you right now? Like on a scale of one to 10? Well, sure. We, we can, I'll, I'll ask you probably again, but yes. What, what does it feel like on one to 10? Um, right now the pain is like a four. Okay. Um, it's usually four is usually the baseline. So this is like the lowest it will go. Okay. Um, and usually I wake up in the morning and it's better. And then as I go throughout my day, it sort of progressively gets worse. And then by evening time, I just need to go lay down. And I often have a lot of trouble getting comfortable falling asleep until the tension from the day kind of releases. Um, so I do a lot of like trying to do progressive muscle relaxation and sort of go into that part of my body and see how much I can release on my own. I kind of feel like I've hit a ceiling though. And I can't, there's like a release that still needs to happen. That isn't happening is what it feels like. Okay. So there's always this just like feeling of, um, tension dryness. Like it feels like it there's it's dry in there. I know that might sound really weird. Um, and I feel pain in both like the front and it's mirrored in the back. And so Right now I feel tension in both. I probably feel more tension kind of just in the middle of my, of my body. It's not really front or back. It's just kind of this spot really deep okay. in the middle. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's really important with EFT that we address the negative aspects. Like we can get really caught up in trying to be positive about things so often, but we have to release like the, this feels like shit aspects of it and really yeah. allow them to have a voice. So like, if that pain was like a person or a being of its own, how would you feel about it? Like, what do you feel about that pain? Um, I would be really annoyed at that person. Um, I would want them to like leave my house they would not be welcome. They would be like a thorn in my side. (laughs) Um, yeah. And and I, I have definitely like tried some mindset work around, like if I could be more accepting of this pain or whatever, but then there's just this part of me that is like, no, if I accept this, that means it's going to be here forever. Okay. All right. So if, when you think about that whole, like that whole picture from the actual physical pain to the emotional pain and the the thoughts you have about it, where do you feel like you are on that subjective units of distress, like from zero to 10? Well, Teresa, I have a really regulated nervous system. So. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> so probably. And like, yet. <laughs> and yeah, it's still there. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I would put myself right in the middle at like five, like it's not sending me over the edge, but I also don't have like a, a loving, compassionate relationship with it either. It's just kind of right in a middle space of annoyance. Um, there's some anger. There's some feelings of like, like what the fuck body, like, there we you go. know, like, like I've done all of this, like chiropractic and massage and osteopathy and rolfing and foam rolling and like physical therapy. I've done all these things. I've nourished you. Like I've consumed information. I really am doing the best I can to help you. And you're still just stuck. <laughs> yes. Okay. There That's we are. How it feels. Bring that front of mind, top of mind while we do this whole thing. Okay. okay? And you're going to repeat after me. It's like, follow the leader. Just say what I say, do what I do. We're going to dig in right now. All okay. right. I'm ready. Even though I have this thorn in my side, even though I have this thorn in my side, I want to love and accept myself anyway. I want to love and accept myself anyway. Even though this nagging pain is such an annoyance, even though this nagging pain is such an annoyance, I love, accept, and forgive myself. Am I supposed to cry? Yep. Works for me. (laughs) That's energy moving. It's a good thing. I, I love, accept, and forgive myself. 
even though this has gone on longer than I ever imagined possible. Even though this has gone on longer than I ever imagined possible. And I have tried everything under the sun. And I have tried everything under the sun. To try to heal it. To try to heal it. And it's still not healed. And it's still not healed. I want to accept myself anyway. I want to accept myself anyway. And maybe this pain too. And maybe this pain too. Ooh, there's some resistance there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All of this pain in my body. All of this pain in my body. It is so unwelcome. It is so unwelcome. Move into the eyebrow. I just wanted to leave. I just wanted to leave. It came on at one of the hardest times in my life. It came on at one of the hardest times in my life. And it won't leave. And it won't leave. It's like a reminder. It's like a reminder. And I just want it to get the fuck out of my body. And I just want it to get the fuck out of my body. And I'm confused by my body. What the fuck, body? And I'm confused by my body. What the fuck, body? I have tried everything. I have tried everything. From compassionately nurturing it. From compassionately nurturing it. To rolfing and bone rolling. (laughs) To rolfing and bone rolling. (laughs) It won't budge. It won't budge. I'm going to have this pain forever. I'm going to have this pain forever. I really feel like it's just never going to go away. I really feel like it's never going to go away. And that feels horrible. And that feels horrible. I just want this pain to melt away. I just want this pain to melt away. Like the snow melted away on that day that I felt so good. Like the snow melted away on the day I felt so good. I just want to feel normal. I just want to feel normal. I am so resistant to this pain. I am so resistant to this pain. I don't want to accept the pain. I don't want to accept the pain. I'm just going to resist it. I'm just going to resist it. That is working really well. (laughs) That's working really well. (laughs) I'm making so much progress. I'm making so much fucking progress. (laughs) Look at me go. (laughs) Just going to keep pushing it away. I'm just going to keep pushing it away. (laughs) It's not part of me. It's not part of me. Yep. Resisting it. That's the way to go. Yeah. Resisting it. That's the way to go. I will make sure it knows it's not welcome. (laughs) I will make sure it knows it's not welcome. Oh, and it keeps letting me know it's there still. (laughs) And yet it keeps letting me know it's there still. All this pain in the right side of my body. All this pain in the right side of my body. And I feel so helpless. And I feel so helpless. I feel like I know everything there is to know about my psoas muscle. I feel like I know everything there is to know about my psoas muscle. What if it's not my psoas muscle that's the problem? What if it's not my psoas muscle that's the problem? I'm open to the idea that maybe there's something else underneath of all of this. I'm open to the idea that maybe there's something else underneath all of this. And I am clearing my resistance. And I'm clearing my resistance. Down to a cellular level down to a cellular level so that I can more clearly see what's really going on so that I can more clearly see what's going on 
and maybe chart a path to healing and maybe chart a path to healing it works that works you want to tap on the sides of the fingers with love with love acceptance acceptance tolerance tolerance and compassion and compassion I forgive this stupid muscle. I forgive this stupid muscle. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I forgive all the shit that hasn't worked. I forgive all the shit that hasn't worked. Back of the hand between the pinky and the ring finger. And I call my power back into my body. And I call my power back into my body. I have amazing healing power inside of me. I have amazing healing power inside of me. And I call my body to direct it to the areas where I'm still feeling pain. And I call on my body to direct it to the areas where I'm still feeling pain. I am whole, complete, and powerful. I am whole, complete, and powerful. We take a nice deep breath in through the nose, Lindsay, out through the mouth. Maybe even do a little um, like super sternal notch here, like press in there and take a nice deep breath. What is coming up for you? I don't know. Something's moving. (laughs) Uh, How does the physical pain feel right at this moment? At this moment, I would say that the tension is down by two or three. Okay. So some of the physical pain is moving. And I did have some pain, uh, like come up like that, that loin part of my back. And it's kind of stuck in like to the left of the inside of my shoulder blade that actually is really common so like if we were in session right now we would use a technique um like i said it's emotional freedom technique so one of the techniques is called chasing the pain where literally we move with that pain as it moves through the body until we get it out and that's what you'd want to do is kind of chase that pain along, you know, and maybe, maybe like if you were to continue this after we get off, you would see that that's what's left. And you would, you know, even though I now feel this pain in wherever, describe it, feel it, whatever. I love accept and forgive myself do that three times. And then, you know, describe the pain, this pain in my upper back, it's moving up. It feels like whatever, just kind of going through those points and just talking to that pain the negative aspects that are presenting themselves, the way that it's making you feel, any frustrations that you're having as it moves and moving with it, you know, maybe, oh, now it's in my neck or now it's, you know, wherever. And just um, calling it to release, allowing it, giving it permission to leave. You know, um, we didn't talk about it, but there's always like, when it comes to pain, there's always a benefit. Like there's some kind of a benefit and a reason why, like, even though we really say we want it to go, like you've probably gotten pretty comfortable with that pain. Like you, you know, it, you, I mean, maybe not you, but like your nervous (laughs) system's gotten pretty comfortable with it. It's like, Hey, like, here's that pain. We know how to handle that. We go lay down now, you know, and tomorrow morning it'll be better. You'll do your thing then. And then we'll go lay down again. But you know, it might be a little hard for your nervous system to wrap its head around. What if we didn't have this pain anymore? Yeah. Cause you've had it yeah. for so long. Yeah. Well, I mean, in, in, in my work, I always see it as a positive thing when someone's sensation moves. Um, and so whenever I felt that movement, it was like, oh, there's a shift. Like yes. it may still be pain, yeah. but there was a shift. And so right. I, I do take that movement as a positive thing. And also you're right. Like 
whatever's familiar to the nervous system is what's safe, even if what's familiar isn't necessarily awesome. So this, this pain is familiar. We've had it for a long sucks, time, but I know how to live with it. <laughs> yeah, it sucks, but here it is. So, um, that was powerful. I love that. And I definitely want to try to incorporate that more. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for being so vulnerable and sharing so much of that, both on the podcast and here. I really hope that, you know, listeners that have their own difficult stories and challenges or chronic pain or trauma or whatever can find a way to utilize this. And there's also other, you know, great resources in the book um, for like repressed traumas and things like that, that might be helpful for people who are dealing with that. Or maybe even for you, if you want to explore it further and try some other aspects of it. And, you know, of course, if I can help in any way.